Hello, and welcome to Practical HTML and CSS by Nick Ruffalo. So first, a little bit about myself. I've been a software developer for about 20 years now. I've developed in a multitude of different front-end and back-end languages. And throughout these 20 years, HTML has pretty much been at the core of all of that. I have experience with startups as well as large businesses. So I've worked with companies as small as two employees, and I've worked with companies as large as 120,000 employees. So I have a knowledge of the different perspectives and needs from those different companies, and I can teach and explain all those different needs. And finally, I've taught software development for over 15 years now from children to senior citizens. So let's get down to the course overview. So here are the things we're going to learn. There are six sections in this course. The first section is going to be kind of a getting started, just learning about software development, learning about the basics, and kind of touching on how to move forward in this learning process. Section two, we're going to dive into what HTML tags are, what classes and what IDs are. It's really going to break down the basic structure of what is HTML and CSS. Section three is going to go through the look, how to customize your look and feel through the use of CSS. Section four is going to address mobile friendly and responsive design. Section five will talk about compatibility, debugging, and documentation. And finally, section six is going to talk about adding widgets. So making use of existing libraries and existing code that is out there on the internet and using it for yourself in, in an extremely legal and safe way. So before we get started in actual software development, I want to take a quick moment before we get started in the actual code and learning to talk about the philosophy of learning software development. Software development, if you have never done it before, can be pretty daunting and it can seem like an overly large task. Um, and it's like learning a new language. It is something that takes time. It's something that you have to learn grammar for. Um, and all of this, but like learning a language, it is achievable if you're willing to, to stick with it. This course will teach you the foundations of HTML and CSS, as well as how to think like a software developer. I will be focusing on the practical application and spending as little time on theory as I can. The reason for this is to let you get hands-on and build confidence. I find that theory is easier to learn when you can immediately put it into practice. HTML and CSS are very basic when it comes to software development, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy. Some of you will grasp everything in this course on the first playthrough, whereas others may rewatch a section a few times. If you're new to software development, if you're not a person who quickly grasps logical expressions, then it might take you a little bit longer than someone who already has exposure. That is completely okay. You can do it. Frustration is completely normal when learning. I'll end with a short anecdote. When I was first learning how to program in a new language, PHP, I spent nearly three hours trying to get a 10-line script to work. This was not my first programming language, yet for some reason, I expected it to be so simple, but it was not working. Finally, I broke down and asked a friend for help. It turned out that I needed to reinstall the software altogether. After that, everything worked. Fast forward 15 years later, and I'm a senior developer in that language. Programming is not impossible, and I'm going to do my best to show you how to get started. From there, you can let it take you wherever you want, and remember, you can always ask for help. I'll leave my email on the video so you can reach out if you get stuck. And with all that said, let's get started.